Hey guys, it's Sandy, and today I am doing a review on the Scooby Doo Rut Row Raggy um, palette by Glam Light. This is what this palette looks like, and I have used all 10 colors. Um, and I'm going to show you how it went. I don't have anything on right now, and that is because the look I was doing for this video using this palette just did not come together. So, and I'm gonna talk about that. So I'm probably gonna talk about that first. None of these shadows have names, so I'm just going to like kind of point at them. So this dark color right here is what I was using today and it just really, because so I was using my normal kind of, um, I use like a kind of a, like a domed kind of tapered, uh, fluffy blending type brush. And this one, it just seemed to stick to the eye primer and not blend at all. Um, I don't know if I needed a different kind of brush, uh, if it was just my primer was maybe I put too much primer on maybe it wasn't ready yet like it needed to sit longer or something I don't know but it just stuck to the primer and wouldn't really blend and the little bit of like movement I did get it looked really really bad like it didn't look uh it didn't look good at all so this color right here just wasn't the greatest for that. Um, this shade, however, is freaking stunning. It's like just this bright, oh, I don't, it's just, it's beautiful. Every, all the other colors performed really well, especially the shimmers. The shimmers always perform well. Um, the shimmers, I don't have to worry about like using brushes or whatever because I just use my pinky. Uh, dip in and then like pat them on my lid because that's just how I do that and then I just use a fluffy blending brush to do my crease and I use the mattes in the crease uh, I think my favorite look might have been these two colors right here together stunning this one was really pretty this one was a really pretty look and I really liked it but this color right here um, kind of when it's bl like when it's blended out and everything, if you're only using like say these two colors, when you put this one on your crease, like to start out with, it really kind of reminds me of a like weak old bruise, like it's like weak old bruise yellow green color. Uh, so it does kind of look like you have a black eye, like an old black eye there for a little while. Um, but once you add the shimmer and everything else, it, it, it looks better. But when you're just doing, like when you're at the very beginning and you're doing the crease, it really does look like you have a black eye. So, but I mean, this palette is really, really good. Again, I like the shimmers more than I like the mattes, but I always do that with Glam Light. Um, yeah, like I said, this color really, really stuck in the, in the primer. It didn't blend very well. Everything else blended really fine. These two together, stunning. This one, like I said, this one it did, um, the other darker color on the other side, it did uh, blend really well. I don't always use eye primer, cause like if I'm just playing with a palette um, and doing some eye looks when I'm not filming a video. I don't always use primer. So this one worked really, really well. This one didn't, but I used primer for this one and I didn't use primer for this one because I remember I didn't use primer for that one. Because if I'm just playing around and doing the eye looks, I don't, like I said, I don't always use primer because they're not on very long. And if I don't use primer, it's easier to get off because sometimes the primer, like, it feels like I have to rub my eyes harder to um, like wipe my eyes hot, harder and longer and stuff with my makeup eraser. Um, 
than if I don't use primer. I think I just need to invest in like some good like makeup removing wipes like and do that to do the bulk and then do my makeup eraser instead of what I've been doing where I just I do my makeup eraser first and then I'll like hit it with some other stuff if I need to but I don't know the makeup eraser is kind of rough <laughs> on my eyes anyway that was a weird little side thing I guess um this palette is by Glamlight like I said before it is on sale for $12 or you can buy the bundle of this one and the Creeps and Crawls palette together for $23. But for $12, I think it's back down from like $22 or something. Uh, for $12, this is a really great palette. Um, I love the packaging. Nice close up of the packaging for you guys. Um, and the color scheme is so pretty. Like, it is a great color scheme, and really, like I said, the only real one I had a problem with was this one. I don't like they don't have names, because then I feel weird just saying this one and that one, and... But yeah, this one stuck weird to the primer, but maybe if I didn't use a primer, and maybe it wouldn't stick so weird, and I did use Glam Light's primer, so... Because it's called, um, I, like, I Sing, um and it's a pr eye primer I did use their primer it's a you know so it's not that you know the primer I use just react badly to the palette because it's their primer so it should work just fine but I don't know I, I guess I've just noticed that for some reason like I said maybe I didn't let it sit long enough like maybe it needed to like I don't know do something and something needed to happen with it it just didn't it was very sticky so maybe I used too much maybe I didn't let it sit long enough because like I said it just stuck and did not blend all these other mattes though worked really great like I said I don't know if this one would react badly to the primer because I didn't use primer when I tried this one out all of these shimmers are great these two shimmers look so freaking similar like in the pan and on camera like you can tell they're different but they look super similar and they are actually quite different but they still look so similar this is a great palette I recommend it um, if you like glam light if you like scooby-doo even if you don't uh, the shimmers alone are worth the price like I said it's on sale for 12 bucks and yeah that is my review and let if you get this palette let me know if you like it if you have any idea of why like the one color stuck so bad like maybe like if you do think that I didn't leave my primer on long enough like I didn't let it sit or something if you have any tips for that let me know and I will talk to everyone later bye